Okay, so I stripped the bark off the bow that I cut earlier. Just shaved it down. And you can see it's obviously very, very green. And this is my arm length, beyond my arm length, so that I can run this bow with big, big arcs. And there's just a little bit of bend in it so that the thing will run here. I might chop it off right about there. Let me take it off right about here. This is why you want a good hatchet. It's got sprayed with water. Yeah, it's pretty wet. It's so green. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this is a very bendy stick. A little bit longer than my hand length. This is great. And I get a lot of crank on it. Now that I've stripped the bark off of it, most of it, I get a little bit in, inner bark, but I don't really too much care. But I'm gonna fire harden this. Now obviously if I needed this to make the fire, I wouldn't be fire hardening it. But if you're gonna make a, a bow drill, you don't make a bow drill every stinking time or it'll be an hour each time, even if you're good to get your fire started. So make one bow drill and then pack it with you. It's just some wood. If it gets old, burn it Get and, and replace the parts as necessary. So, I like the hatchet to take the bark off because the hatchet actually has a convex grind to it, which means it's not a straight line. And that that is conducive to stripping this bark off and just smoothly shaving stuff off. It works really well. The, I said this earlier, but this is the Firehawk. Yeah, it's, I think it's EB Bushcraft is who sells it. It's awesome. It's super lightweight, super sharp. As you can see, it just blows right through the trees. It's got a fire piston on the bottom of it. I'll do that in another video. And uh, great, great for making a bow drill. All right. Come over here to the fire. Got some coals going on. I got my poker stick. A little bit of a furnace kind of down in there. What I'm going to do is just roll this around in here and burn it on that flame. I'm basically cooking the water out so that it's springy and spongy and, and, and it's actually stronger than if it were brittle or green by itself. And it causes it to shrink real fast when that water leaves and that tightens up those fibers in alignment instead of uh, when it goes dry and cracks and falls apart. Like it would if the sun cooked it. And I can put it pretty much right in the flame because of the fact that it is so green, it's going to take a while to cook that out. You can hear it sizzling the water out of it. It like condenses. It's pretty interesting. It's a very wet stick. It just rained last night too, so. Yeah. The thing about fire is the time to prepare it is when you have one. Make your bow drill and harden it while you have a fire. Make your char cloth while you have a fire. You can do it from scratch, but it's a whole lot easier if you prepare. And that's how you fire harden the bow for a bow drill.